Hello my lovelies. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm doing a little bit of a comparison. Uh, I guess you can call it a rare beauty versus Fenty. And I'm talking about the eye brighteners that both makeup brands have to offer. So Fenty Beauty came out with this, oh, what is it? It's the Bright Fix. Tried it out, actually do enjoy it. And then Rare Beauty came out with this under eye brightener. Also tried it out, also really enjoy it. So I am here to compare the two and see if they are pretty much the same thing. And if you need this new Rare Beauty, if you already have the Fenty. Yeah, let's jump right into this little comparison video. Okay, my lovelies, we are going to jump in to the Fenty Beauty first. I want to say it came out about two years ago and it's called the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. It comes in 16 different shades and it retails for $26. I'll read you the details. I'm on the Ulta website. It says it is an under eye brightener that easily hydrates, brightens, and conceals. Delivers a fast, natural, no makeup makeup effect with sheer to buildable coverage. So sheer to buildable coverage. Okay. I enjoy using these under eye brighteners just because the formula is so light with a corrector. This is the Bobbi Brown and Peach and I'm just going to add where I have a tiny bit of darkness and kind of where I want a tiny bit more coverage before going in with the eye brightener. BK Beauty 110. Okay, and as you can tell, that already provided a tiny bit of coverage. Now let's jump into the Fenty. Now this one's like a squeezy tube. And the only thing I don't like about this product is that you can actually pour too much out. So I like to put it onto my finger and not onto my eyes. Deep Butter 07 is the shade and it's like a yellowy kind of shade. Formula feels very, very liquidy. Same 110 brush. Let's start off down here. You can blend this out with your fingers if you'd like. I prefer a brush and I think I might have put just a tiny bit too much product. Okay, so I did not use that whole drop on this side. I definitely feel like the Fenty is a tiny bit more emollient and it has a tiny bit more coverage than your Rare Beauty. Just from what I recall from using the Rare Beauty for the last almost two weeks. I went ahead and swatched the Fenty Beauty and we are going to swatch the Rare Beauty right underneath it just so we can see the comparison in shades. Okay, and now I am on the Sephora website and the Rare Beauty Positive Light Under Eye Brightener retails for $24, so it's $2 cheaper, but there is only six shades available, which I was a little disappointed by, I'm not going to lie. I think she should have provided way more shades than she did. A super lightweight liquid that visibly brightens, hydrates, and awakens under eyes with sheer flexible coverage for a fresh look in a flash. Okay, so this one is definitely saying it's a light coverage. It's not saying you can build it up, but it pretty much has the same claims. It awakens the under eye, hydrates, all that good stuff. So again, I'm going to jump in to my Bobbi Brown. I'm going to use them the same just so we can compare side by side. And for this one though, I'm going to use a different brush. This is the Vive 119 Conceal and Prime Brush. And we're going to blend out the color corrector. Okay, now the Rare Beauty comes in a tube, kind of like a concealer, and it has a metal applicator, which 
I feel this should have rethought the shape because you do have to keep dipping into this in order to get a decent amount. Let's swatch it next to this one and see how they compare in shade. So I definitely feel this one's a tiny bit more peachy than this one, right? They're close in shade. Very close, but I do feel like the Fenty one is a tiny bit more peachy, maybe a little bit more darker, and the Rare Beauty maybe has a tiny bit more yellow in it. When I turn around and look at it, they look almost identical, but here on the viewfinder, they, I could see the difference. It's a slight difference, but I'd say they're pretty close in shade. Okay, so let me go ahead and apply this Rare Beauty. Yeah, just from applying it, I definitely feel like the Fenty is more emollient, carries much more pigment than this Rare Beauty one does. Okay, go ahead and blend it out with my Vive brush. Okay, both sides are on and I definitely feel like I'm getting more coverage from the Fenty. Especially here around my nose, I can really notice it. Like here, I feel like it barely covered it and then on this side, I feel like it covered the amount that I like for it to be covered. Let me know if you could see that. And for the under eyes, I feel like I am getting a tiny bit and it's very slight. It's not like a huge amount more coverage on the Fenty side than the Rare Beauty side. But I wanted you all to see a close up. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the face. I'm going to set both of my under eyes and then we'll come back and discuss and talk about these products. Okay, my lovelies, I am back. Face is nice and done. Let me tell you real quick what I use. The RCMA Makeup Loose Powder in Amber for the whole face. I went in to this Glossier Solar Paint Bronzer in Flare and the KKW Contour Stick in shade one. I went into the Make Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Swelter and I topped it off with the Laura Mercier in the shade Ginger. I did go into my Give Beauty eyebrow pencil and I went into the Chanel. This is the oversized healthy glow bronzer in medium. And then for my under eyes, I went into the Kosas powder uh, in the shade Comfy. I saw Tanya B. Wells use it in her under eyes once and um, I've used it a couple of times. So I'm trying it out again to see if I like it. Okay, so let's look. Oh, for the lips, they make beauty a little lip oil in the shade Nude Nova. Is that the shade? Yeah, I think so. And KKW Classic Kim Lip Liner, just a tiny bit in the center of both the top and the bottom lip. Okay, I did want to show you the swatches real quick. I don't know if you can tell, but this is the Fenty and this is the Rare Beauty. See how the Rare Beauty has just a tiny bit of shine? That tells me that this one's more hydrating than the Fenty Beauty. The Fenty Beauty dried down completely. But with the Rare Beauty, you still see a tiny bit of shine come through. And I can definitely tell in my under eyes. Can you see that the Fenty Beauty is accentuating my dryness just a tiny bit more than the Rare Beauty side? At least I can tell. I feel like the Rare Beauty side is just a tiny bit more smooth than the Fenty side. And I mean, I have fine lines. They're always going to be accentuated. That's not the problem. It's just that I feel like the Fenty is really emphasizing my dryness and it's not super hydrating like it claims to be. But the Fenty, and as you could tell, see how it's shining? I definitely think it's hydrating because my under eyes on the Rare Beauty side look so much better, so much pretty, very natural, like my skin, but better. So, yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about these two items. I'm very glad that I did this video because I honestly thought that they were the same exact thing and they are not. <laughs> I definitely feel like the Rare Beauty is more hydrating than the Fenty Beauty is, but I definitely feel like the Fenty Beauty has more coverage than the Rare Beauty 
does. This one has less shades available. This one has 10 more, which is awesome. This one's 24, this one's 26. So honestly, I think it's a personal preference. For me personally, I actually am enjoying the Rare Beauty more and I am remembering that the Fenty Beauty, if I don't tread softly and if I apply too much, this is what happens. It like accentuates dryness that I don't feel like I really have. I definitely feel like the Rare Beauty side is more smooth and looks more natural and like I barely have anything under my eyes. So for me, personal preference, performance-wise, the Rare Beauty is actually better. Um, if you own the Fenty Beauty, I don't think you need to go out and get this. Uh, so if you you own this and you're enjoying this, I think you'll be totally fine and you're not missing out with this. They pretty much do almost the same exact thing. It's just the formula is a tiny bit more different. So if I had to choose for one of these to go, the Rare Beauty would go out the window and I would keep this one. <laughs> okay, well, I hope this video helped you out. I keep forgetting or I just don't think really like not everybody buys all the new makeup launches as soon as they launch some people actually put the stuff in their cart and they wait until they have the funds available to purchase items or when they're going to put a pig order in and um yeah so I'm glad I was able to do this video in case you were debating on whether you wanted to pick up the Rare Beauty or not especially if you already own the Fenty Beauty under eye brightener so I hope this video helped you out let me know and if you've tried both I would love to know which one you prefer because I'm sure it's going to be different for everybody all right, my lovelies. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes, if you use my links. By the way, I try to get the video uploaded and accessible to be viewed as soon as possible. And sometimes I forget to go back and do the links. So if you check in the description box and nothing's there, check the next day. I probably have already added it. <laughs> my apologies. There's just a lot going on right now in you know, life. <laughs> okay, well, with that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it, and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right, my lovelies, I will see you on the next video. Bye!